Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is one of the latest flagship phones from Samsung and has been making waves in the smartphone world. Let's dive into the review and see if it's worth the hype. Design The Galaxy S23 Ultra is like the best of both worlds. It keeps the angular design of its predecessor but updates it with flatter sides like the iPhone. The curved display is still present and Samsung has made a few minor improvements, such as making the volume and power buttons slightly larger and moving them lower for easier access. It's still made out of glass and metal, but the back is reinforced with Corning's new Gorilla Glass Victus 2, so it shouldn't break as easily if dropped. The middle frame is still made out of aluminium. Despite Samsung's insistence on maintaining an IP68 rating for water and dust resistance, this is currently the highest possible standard. As for the Galaxy S23 Ultra colors, we have the following. Phantom Black, Cotton Flower, Mystic Lilac, Botanic Green. Lastly, the S Pen is still included with the S23 Ultra. Again, this only demonstrates the product's maturity that it looks and feels the same as before and no new features have been announced. Performance Using cutting-edge, highly efficient 4 nanometer technology, it offers a significant step forward, especially for gamers. The GPU in this new chip is competitive with or better than what's found in iPhones, which led the market for a while. Many advanced technologies such as Wi-Fi 7 and 4K 120fps video are made possible by the chip, but not all of them make it to the Galaxy. The S23 Ultra, for instance, only allows 4K 60fps video recording and Wi-Fi 6E. Not least impressive is Samsung's decision to double the storage for the base model of the S23 Ultra while keeping the same price, at least in the US. 8GB RAM with 256GB of storage, or 12GB RAM with 512GB of storage, and 12GB RAM with 1TB of storage. While a 1TB option is fantastic for power users, the impact of the 256GB base model will be much greater for the average user, and we couldn't be more thrilled about it. Pre-release rumors suggested the S23 Ultra would have satellite connectivity like the iPhone 14 series, but this is not the case. The Camera The main attraction is the new 200 megapixel camera. Though the S23 Ultra quad camera has one major change and a few minor upgrades, it is not drastically different from its predecessor. Having used a 108 megapixel sensor for the primary camera for the past three years, Samsung has upgraded to a stunning new 200 megapixel sensor. There's no way that 200 megapixels is realistic. In fact, it is, but that's not why you should be impressed. Most people probably won't ever use a full resolution. And by default, Samsung uses pixel binning to combine 16 individual pixels into a single super pixel that still yields 12 megapixel photos. But with the help of that pixel binning trick, Samsung is able to eliminate background noise and produce superb photos even in low light. The expert RAW mode has been added to the camera app as a standard feature for enthusiasts. The S23 Ultra's expert RAW mode is more advanced than the regular Pro mode because it enables the shooting of RAW files with multiple exposures in addition to providing full manual control over the camera. This year, users can take advantage of a 50 megapixel RAW file option, which offers significantly more detail than the standard 12 megapixel shot without taking up as much space as a 200 megapixel file. Images captured during the day tend to have better clarity and sharpness. By enhancing the processing, Samsung has made the photos look more impressive and less washed out. The battery. Even though the S23 Ultra's 5000 mAh battery is the same size as last year's, it lasts longer than before. When it comes to audio playback, Samsung estimates the S23 Ultra will last 99 hours, which is 22% longer than last year's model. And when it comes to video playback, the S23 Ultra gets up to 27 hours, which is 30% longer than the S22 Ultra. In particular, those upgrading from an Exynos-based model will see a marked improvement. The new Galaxy does a better job of playing back YouTube videos than its predecessor did, 
but it still lags behind the Pixel 7 Pro and most notably the iPhone 14 Pro Max. At the end, it's second to the iPhone only when it comes to gaming. We are pleased to see that Samsung has been able to improve performance despite maintaining the same battery size. This demonstrates how much of a role the computer's processor and operating system play in the overall equation. Similar to the past, the S23 Ultra is capable of receiving 45 watts via cable charging. Another thing that hasn't changed from previous years is that you won't find a charger in the package, just a cable. On top of Android 13, the newest version of Samsung's proprietary One UI version 5.1 provides a user experience that is for the most part unchanged from previous iterations on Samsung's flagship smartphones. The longevity of Samsung's support is the Series S23 software's greatest strength. More than even Google's Pixel phones, the S23 series will receive 4 years of major updates and 5 years of security updates. If Samsung wants to improve, they should take note of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Even though it isn't a huge upgrade, it does improve in all the important areas, including storage capacity and camera quality. These are the things that will be valued by all. The remaining changes, while less significant, are all welcome additions. Although the improvements in video stabilization are welcome, most users still have no interest in 8K videos. The S23 Ultra is very similar to the S version in many respects. Those who already have an S22 Ultra probably won't see much reason to upgrade. But those upgrading from an older phone, especially one with a slower Exynos processor, will be very pleased with this new model. There is currently nothing on the market that can match the power and adaptability of a Note. And that's it for this review. I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great reviews like this one. Thanks for watching.